Nestuka. All right, everybody, it's gonna be the fixed blade portion of what the state of the collection for 2019. This is gonna be a two-parter because I have a lot of fixed blades. I had a lot more than I thought I would. So, let's get into this. All right, so we'll start out with this one. This is the Benchmade Nestuka. Check that out. Need some more light over here. Let's bring this in a little closer. All right, check it out here. Check it out there. You see that? All right, S30V. Kind of got a Ulu cleaver thing working here. Good for veggies and whatnot. Pretty cool knife. I try. I think I tested this thing already. Let's put this away. That is not how you put it away, unless you are wanting. Dang, this thing always tricks me up. This is. Look at this. I can't ever get this. I'm not a smart man. All right, there we go. The bench made this Stuka. This here is something. Check this out. All right. This is the SE Libertariat from their Expat collection. And it's just a little chopper here. Now, I didn't really like this when I got it. I wasn't crazy about it. It just seemed a little flimsy in the handle. I don't know. But this thing kind of grows on me. I'm going to try and test this a little bit more. I think I put a little bit of a test on there. Ooh, maybe a little bit of rust there, too. I think this is 5160, if I'm not mistaken. Check that out. It's got a kind of a cool feel in it. I don't like the handles as much. But for what you're paying for these things, this is a really cool knife for that price if you want to kind of get into a chopper. So that's a good one. All right, what is this? What do we got here? Ooh, yeah, this. There we go. The Machete from Liang Ma. Check that bad boy out. This thing is awesome. This thing just feels good. And this thing will mangle some brisket. If you look at the brisket video I did for the 2000 subs, this thing just, man, this thing feels good too. Check out that. Super thick. And the handles are a little bit smoothed out wood, kind of like the SE handles, but there's a little, there's more control feeling towards this one. So I don't know, this thing's great. And for the price you're gonna pay for this, for this kind of machete, and you can get this on sale a lot too. I think I've got this one. Actually, the deal I got on this one really, really upset you. So I'm not gonna tell you that I got this for basically free. I'm not gonna tell you that. That is not what, I don't wanna ruin your day by telling you that I got it for free. All right, so let's keep going. All right, we've already seen this. We've seen a bunch of these lately because I've been doing a lot of brisket chopping. Oh, look at that. The Fox Parang. Parang mid, Parang mid. Give me a rope and hang me. Look at that thing. Oh, wow, this thing's awesome. This thing's awesome. It just feels awesome. Look at this thing. All right, check it out. The handle may be a little bit too contoured as far as being sp too one hand specific for where these finger grooves should be. So maybe if they filled that in a little bit. The one up front is not too bad, but find the finger grooves with your fingers back here. That, that seems kind of silly to me that you're gonna try and match that up. But overall, this thing's an awesome beast. It comes with some cool stuff. It comes with a little kit. If you get this little kit like that. I'm not gonna review it. I think I already reviewed it, but I'm not gonna. This isn't here for review. This is here for a quick look-see. A quick look-see at the parang that I can't never snap on camera. All right. Holy heck, man. They were doing snaps and coordination tests to be a reviewer. I would fail. All right, let's see what else we got here. I'm just gonna go down the stack. Check this bad boy out. We all know what this is. And this thing is really on a good deal right now over at Smoky Mountain Knifeworks. Listen to that. The El Shetty. Check that horrible beast out. Oh, wow. That is a monster. Look at that thing. Just huge and thick so just a beast check out the back of this thing thick as thick can be you'll never ever ever 
there's no need for this much power in one man's hands. Look at that, this thing needs to be tested. My wife has some trees out front that I need to chop down. Might take El Chetty for a walk to the front yard and do some devastation. All right, or I might just take it for a walk down the road. I went for a walk down the road today with my cold steel sword cane in case I ran into some ugly dogs. But why can't I go walking with El Chete strapped to my hip? El Chete. Sounds like an old, old Mexican country song. El Chete. All right, here we go. Oh, we don't know what this is. This is one of my favorite knives in the world. My Tree of Liberty large bushcraft. What I use to carve brisket. And check that out. Just awesome. One of my favorite knives. Period. Just a great knife. Put that back in there. Wonderful blade, wonderful blade. All right, let's put that over here. Now this is just one half of my fixed blade, so we're gonna have more coming in the next video. So let's get this one out of the way. Oh, looks like it got a little scratch from an unsheathed knife there. Not good. All right, this is my Bark River. Check that out. What is this, the Bravo Machete and CPM1V? Look at that, the, my car to handle. Oh, this thing is so light and just powerful. It just wants to slice through something viciously. Look at that, it's got a little patina work in there, doesn't it? Got a little rainbow coloring. Got this thing oiled up nicely so it won't rust. This is awesome. This is like something that Jason would bring out. You know, maybe he strained his elbow doing something stupid, trying to lift a bunch of weight that this other arm wrestler could lift, and he thought maybe he could do it. And so he was out trying to do El Shede while he massacred some, some Crystal Lake teenagers. And he's like, oh, I can't do that today. I'll kill, 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 kill with this one instead. A little bit lighter, a little quicker and still gonna get the job done. Fantastic knife, just a great knife. All right, put that over there. What else we got over here? Oh man, it's a lot of tops. A lot of tops fixed blades in my collection. I think we've seen some of these already. This was, I think I did some of these in my top 10 2018 fixed blades. The Viax, check that monster out. Oh yeah. This thing has seen brisket blood and it thirsts for more. Check this thing out. Look at the size of this. This thing is awesome. This thing is great. In case you had to go violently punching something. Speaking of violently punching something, did y'all hear about that mountain lion? That guy that choked a mountain lion? That was pretty amazing. If he had a Viax, there wouldn't have been a problem. All right, so let's keep going here. This is the Viax. Got a cool sheath on this thing. Check out that sheath, kind of covers the top there. All right, what else we got here? Some more tops, this is, I'm sure. All right, yeah, here's good tops. Let's see here. I would like right now for all the loud cars in the neighborhood to drive by if that's possible. Okay, here we go. The tops, Kuma Takri. Look at that thing. This thing is really cool. Just light and slicey, it kind of gives you that Bravo machete feel to it. Just light but thick and doable. You can have one of these in one hand, one of those in the other. While you're chasing lusty co-ads down at Crystal Lake. Very awesome. This thing is seriously awesome and can seriously put in some awesome field work too. It'll chop and cut and slice. You got both ways here. I love this knife so much. I want to get another one. I had another one and I sold it and then I realized I shouldn't have sold it because I want another one. So the Topps Kuma Takri, just a great knife. If you get a chance to get one, this is a really recommended knife. I really like that knife. It's got a lot of cool applications to it. All right, let's get out of the Topps way. Here's one. Here we go. Oh yeah. The Cold Steel Master Hunter. Check that bad boy out. 3V, indestructible, just a great knife to take out and do some bushcrafting with. 
Will I ever do it? I don't know. I have dreams of being a bushcrafter. It could happen. Dreams can come true. It could happen to you. Look at that thing. This thing is awesome. Buddy got this for me. Just unbelievable. Just so cool. Way better than I could have hoped for on this knife. I love this knife. This knife might be buried with me. It's one of those kind of knives. All right, let's see what else we got. We're coming to the end here. We've got a couple more. I should slow down. All right, look at this bad boy. Oh, this may have been my favorite knife. I don't know. My, was it my, what was my favorite Topps knife last year? I don't know, this thing. This, the Outpost Command. I know I've said it a lot lately and y'all have heard me say it, but holy heck. Folks, if it came down to just about any knife on this table, I think I would take this one. Just because, I mean, the El Chete is awesome and huge, but as a realistic knife that you might be carrying, this thing is amazing. As far as just having something for all kinds of purposes, the El Chete is just going to mangle everything you, you set before it. So that's a really great knife. But this thing, this thing has all kinds of purpose. Just look at that. It really is a great knife. Look how thick that thing is. And you know what? It's super comfortable in the hand. Just a, I don't know. I can't think of a better fixed blade that I have as far as just something you want to use than this thing. And it will mangle some brisket for sure. All right. I think we're almost done. Got two more for this first part of the thing here. Let's check this out. All right. What is this? Oh, ho, ho. check out this bad boy Kershaw here. Oh, man. Look at that. Holy heck. I love that blade shape. Check that out. That kukri blade shape. Just going to mangle some elephant grass. Watch out. Maybe take out some bamboo. Look at that. This thing is awesome. If y'all don't have one of these, you need to get one. They're not too expensive. And just an amazing feeling that I've now the rubberized handle might take a little getting used to especially after all this tops what they call that grizzly grip or bark river grip or whatever they wouldn't call tops the bark river grip you know what I'm saying it's got that special tread to it black mountain tread anyway so this might take a little getting used to but as far as being usable this thing's pretty awesome I need to do some testing with this one this thing oh man it's one of those knives I just kind of forget that I have until I see it and then I got to do some work on it all right I think we have one more to go let's see make sure I don't announce it wrong yep there's the last one for today children's and those are not children's this is oh let me close that up check that out y'all know what that is Oh, it's so bright. Look at that. Turn down the light. The SE5 in that venom green, that toxic venom thing with the orange. Look how thick that thing is. Just a beast. It just reminds you of, I don't know, a slab of steel with a handle on it. Just awesome. It's kind of, it's very outpost commandy kind of. And I don't think it's as good as the outpost command. But it's right up there. This thing is just screaming to be you somehow. Just screaming to chop something, shred something, just destroy something. Look how thick that thing is. What is that, like a quarter inch? That's got to be a quarter inch thick. Holy freak, look at that. And I love the color on this. I know a lot of y'all ain't into that color, but man, you'll never lose it. And it's just kind of different and cool. You got a little wood breaker, dot maker, walnut cracker right there. Just a cool knife. I'm really glad, and I wanted this for a long time, and I finally got it on a good deal. And so, of course, that made it even better. All right, so there you go. That is the first part of my what state of, not what came to my door, the state of the collection fixed blades for 2019. Let me know what you think. Which one's your favorite of these? Do you have any of these? And in my way off on my description, I'm, I guess it just kind of went awesome on everything. There are a couple that weren't as awesome, but as far as fixed blades, man, it's just hard. 
you can't talk about action. You know, like, well, the action on this is a little stiff and the bearings are against the... No, this is just, is this thing awesome? Is this going to chop? Is it going to mangle or do what I need to do? And pretty much all of these are in that category of just doing what they're there for. So, let me know what you think. Do me a favor, pound the like button down there. Subscribe here. Check out all my extra videos over here. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos. And I will talk to you later.